What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time seeing my face. Please go ahead and smash the subscribe button. I'm marching toward 2,500 subscribers. I did recently hit a thousand subscribers in a week or two weeks ago. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting me. There is a giveaway going on right now, I believe. I don't know if this video is gonna be up by then. But anyway, check out the link here if you wanna check out that video to figure out how to get into the giveaway. Anyway, moving on. I am in London, Ontario, Canada, just two hours west of Toronto or two hours northeast of Detroit. But here we have, it's called Harvey's. Now Harvey's is like a, a fast food restaurant here in Canada. I believe it's the fourth largest chain in Canada. I had never heard of it. So I wanna check it out and see what it was like. So Harvey's, it reminds me of like a, a Burger King or a Wendy's or anything like that, but it's really cool. They have like a, a not a bar, but like they make the sandwich in front of you. So they have, you can order the sandwich, you get like the raw materials of bread, the chicken or the beef or cheese or whatever. And then you have like Subway toppings, like onions and peppers and, and jalapenos and all kind of cool stuff. So you can probably see that in the B-roll. But I did get four different items to try out here. The guy told me, you gotta try out these things. So here we go, let's get started. First, we're gonna move the big bag out the way. We have a grilled chicken salad. Check that out. That's very light, not bad at all. Nothing else in this bag, we can get rid of that one. And some receipts. We have one sandwich. I'm not gonna eat all this tonight. I'm just trying to sample different things because I've never been here before. And I don't know if I've ever come back because fast food and I like doing fast food. Anyway, I'm talking too much. So. Second sandwich, and look at this silverware. <laughs> a little plastic silverware. It's got uh, ecoproducts.com, I'm sure it's biodegradable. Nice job. And the poutine. Now I was reluctant about getting the poutine because it's fries and gravy and cheese. Nothing healthy about that. Um, but he told me to try it, you know, with modesty, anything is possible. So, get rid of this bag. Check it out here. Um, let's get same. Let's get these things open and see what they look like. All right, y'all. The first thing we're gonna try is probably the most Canadian thing here: the poutine. So poutine is basically French fries, or fries, whatever, with gravy and cheese curds. Like I don't know what to expect here, <laughs> but they give you a good hefty portion here. This is the regular size. Costs about four ninety nine Canadian. You can do your math in your own country or whatever. But I got some cheese curds. I got fry, got gravy, let's see what it does. It's actually very delicious. It's super rich. Got a starch, potatoes, cheese, and then gravy. Like super heavy <laughs> ingredients here. You probably don't need anything else besides one of these. There's no need to have a sandwich and these. <laughs> but very, very good. Very basic meal, not, not acid, acidity, basic. Very basic meal, not bad. Pretty, pretty good. Not as salty as I expected. I'm impressed, okay? Now this is how fast food does it. I wonder what poutine tastes like at like a fine dining restaurant. <laughs> All right, y'all, next up is the grilled chicken salad. It does come in a crispy version as well. And this is the sandwich I have here. I'm sure you take one of those and just cut it up and put on salad. It looks pretty simple. I don't expect much here, but this uh, chain does pride themselves on everything being locally farmed and green and it's probably a biodegradable bowl with recyclable plastic. You gotta look for the uh, little, yeah, there's the little number on the bottom of it so you can recycle it. That's okay. So I got cucumbers, carrots, tomatoes, grilled chicken. I think that's it. Let's just uh, cut the chicken real quick. I have a handy dandy knife right here. Mm -hmm. One of their plastic knives. Cut right through it. Let's put the chicken on a hard surface so I don't make, make a mess. Okay, I'm expecting the chicken to be a little dry just based on how I cut it. But that's, is it fine? I don't know if it's fine. It's a fast food restaurant. So I got some lettuce, some carrots here. They actually didn't ask me for any dressing and I'm very, perplexed about that. Maybe that's how they do it here or the dressing all mixed in, but got a nice little bite. Check that out. Mm. Chicken is not dry. 
<laughs> nice job, guys. I'm sorry, I offended you. Chick is not dry at all. Pretty good. I could use some dressing, but you get a lot of salad there. And that's okay. I need all these vitamins up after eating this. <laughs> all right, next up we have the crispy chicken sandwich here. It comes with a straight piece of chicken and the bread, and you make it up however you want it. So I added lettuce, tomato, pickle, jalapeno, uh, diced raw onions, and their Harvey sauce. Now I have no idea what Harvey sauce is, but let's cut it in half. I'm definitely not eating all this tonight. Go ahead and give it a nice little cut right down the middle. Mm-hmm. Give it a good pull apart. You know how they're doing the gram. Check out that cross section. Not bad. All right, let's give it a good go or a good go here. I got jalapeno on this side over here. Mm-hmm. Instantly, I'm reminded of Chick-fil-A. I think it's the bread. The bread's very soft, not terribly thick. You can kind of see the layer. Really, really thin bread. It's good, less carbs, ha ha. And that pickle in the chicken, because you know Chick-fil-A puts pickles on their sandwiches. Maybe that's it. But this is actually pretty decent. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what the Harvey sauce is, but I'm just gonna throw my jalapenos on here. One more bite. Nice straightforward chicken sandwich. Yeah, this tastes just like Chick-fil-A. Hmm. Maybe need to do a comparison. Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, last but not least, we have the Angus Bacon Burger. Now the Angus Burger is a quarter pound patty. This is an upgrade from the regular sort of burger patty that they have. It's kind of like McDonald's regular patties, then the quarter pounder, excuse me. It's a very similar concept. So they do offer a, a double and a regular and bacon and whatever, but you can make it however you want. And that's one of the things they pride themselves on. Let's cut it in half. Again, I will not be eating all of this. Got some lunch for tomorrow for sure. Maybe even dinner. Cut it right in half. Get a good cross section. Do it for the gram. Pull it apart. Oh, I messed up somewhere. <laughs> Check it out. All right. So on this one, I echoed the same ingredients. Jalapenos, pickles, lettuce, uh, tomato. Um, this time I used ghost pepper sauce as well. So it's going to be a little bit more spicy. Here's a tomato that fell out. Let's give it a good shot. And this burger does taste different than, say, McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's. It's a different flavor to it. Good thickness, good char on the outside. Decently salty. That bacon is good and crispy as well. It's on the bottom of the bun. Got our cheese here. This is a decent little burger. Again, it's a fast food spot. I wasn't expecting much, but this is pretty good. Well, all right, guys, that concludes this video. Thank you for checking it out. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I kind of filmed this video on a whim. I just didn't feel like going out and sitting in a restaurant tonight. I didn't have a good day at work. I haven't been having a bunch of good days at work, but if you want to come in, get some comfort food, chill out. I might play some Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm a huge Pokemon fan, if you guys didn't know that. And one of my other things I do on the side when I get time away from editing and stuff. But anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know of some fast food chains that are in your area that don't exist outside. But for example, I was in Sweden in uh, August and they have a fast food chain called Max. I had never heard of it before, but really good food there, but I didn't think to film it. But I know like almost every state in America has its own sort of fast food chain within, within, within it. So let me know which uh, is in your state and I should go visit it and check it out. Thanks guys, take care.